I'm Julie Goolsby. And I'm Kyle Goolsby. With our first child, Faith, um, we had tried to get pregnant for several years and were unsuccessful. So we decided to go the, the route of adoption. And we had talked to some friends who had gone through an adoption agency, so that's the route we chose to go. And we started that process with paperwork upon paperwork. Um, and it was a very long process. The, the process of adopting Faith was the most eye-opening for me because we went through a process where they gave us the paperwork and we answered the questions and they were questions like, do you want a boy or you want a girl? Lists of every race and nationality you can think of and go, what if it's this? What if it's this, you know? And we actually had a moment where we said, okay, we're just gonna answer every one of these questions like it was us having a natural child. If we were gonna have a natural child, Obviously, it would be very lily white and Irish, you know? And then we gave those papers back to those people. I don't know how long it was. It was like one night, maybe. And we, were, we, we just kind of looked at ourselves and went, what are we doing? And so we asked for that stuff back and we redid it all. And we took all of the check marks off the pages because if I really am doing this because I want to father a child, I want to be a dad the worst way, and I can't do it myself, then why would I limit myself in any way whatsoever? But I look back and I think, goodness, all the things that we went through, um, but I wouldn't trade a moment of it, um, especially being matched twice with a birth mother and then that falling through, um, and then still having that, you know, that empty crib in my, in my house. Because I look at my now 15 year old and I think, I went through all of that. God took us through all of that so that she would be our daughter. And then I've been able to talk to so many people who are going through the adoption process and are struggling with, oh, we've been waiting for six months, we've been waiting for eight months, you know, and it's, it's hard. But being able to say, there's a baby waiting there for you. It's just, it's God's timing and, and waiting for that. But then with Ellie, our youngest, who's six, it was a completely different process. We waited for two and a half years for faith. We had a little bit of planning time for faith. And then we would get phone calls through like a network of people that we had adopted through before. They were like, hey, there's this baby that needs a home. We know that you've adopted. Would you be you know, willing to do it again? And we had said yes a couple of times. And then it just never happened. I was at my best friend's house just hanging out and a phone number popped up on my phone and I didn't know the, the number. And for whatever reason, like, I knew I needed to answer that phone call. And it was Ellie's birth mother. Um, and she was calling and said, I wanna meet you guys. I, I think I want you guys to adopt my, my child. Um, and she showed me sonograms of Ellie and um, we talked for a little bit. And then she said, you guys are the family. We, we, or I want you to, to adopt this baby. I know that it's, it's so hard being in the midst of it, and especially um, for, for women who have been trying to have you know, a baby for, a, for any amount of time, really, and, and, and it's a struggle. And you find yourself in that, why me, or why not me? Um, and I think it's, it, it's so easy to get in that trap and, and get down on yourself. And, and I'm not saying it won't, it won't happen, but I think the, the most important thing is to not lose hope and know that your child is out there.